Transformers of Eternia. You're watching Transformers of Eternia. Now, I just wanted to do a quick video, just kind of go through some of the stuff that I recently decided to do to my Moss Man for Masters of the Universe Origins. So, I, as you can see, you already can see the the custom or whatever you want to call it I did. But I took some some leather that you can get from Walmart in the crafting department or whatever. Anyway, and I just got these three different colors of leather. And I just kind of took and I braided it all together so that it can have like a like a thing that goes across his chest. So he's just because he seems like empty, like he just doesn't have enough going for him. So I just I always that always bothered me. And plus, I seen the classics Moss Man, and the classics Moss Man just looks so cool with that like across the chest uh, thing that it has going on it. So I just wanted to kind of make that for my Origins Moss Man. So I ended up doing that. And I put this little band on the arm just to have an extra kind of thing to go along with it. But see, it kind of balances out the character a lot more now that you see it like that. He just looks a lot more like Moss Manny, I guess. Like he, That just kind of fits his character, if you ask me. I don't know. It's just my personal opinion. But yeah, I mean, look at that. He he looks really cool. I mean, it does. It looks kind of just. I just did it kind of quickly, so because I didn't want it to look like super professional and clean and neat. I wanted it to look a little rough, so that's kind of why I did that. Now in the back, it's not the prettiest. I just kind of tied it together or whatever to kind of put it together. But this thing looks good as far as I'm concerned, and it makes the character look way better than without the because the yellow armor i'm just not going to put a beast man yellow armor on moss man because it just doesn't fit for me but this looks much more better as far as i'm concerned so i figured i'd just kind of throw this out there and talk about this because i just think that moss man needed something more than just having nothing you know and i, I said that before i know but it just seems like if we could get like I don't know if it would be possible now, but this guy is uh, flogged and everything, so I don't know if we could get a different head for this guy. But if there was a custom head out there of a more calm, intelligent-looking Moss Man that had more of a, um, a look like he's thinking and more uh, more laid back and more wise, I guess, than the one with the mouth open like this, that would be awesome. Because that would kind of just tie this off. But I don't know if they'd be able to match this exact flogging and this color that they got going here. Because this is a pretty perfect uh, color that they have for the flog. Whatever, flogging or whatever. Anyway, and I just think that if we could get like the perfect Moss Man, that would be the perfect Moss Man for me. Now, maybe down the line, if they ever can figure out what they're going to do with the Origins line, maybe if they continue it, maybe they'll actually do a 2000X Moss Man that's flogged and have it look like the 2000X show. And I think that one looks a little bit more intelligent and a little bit more um, wise. And that would be cool if they actually did it. But who knows what they're going to do in the future because, I mean, the Origins line is always in, in flux. Now, a lot of people would say, well, it's still going. They're go doing the, um, the, the cartoon animation style now, you know. And I'm like, yeah, that's nice and everything. But they're just redoing the original characters that they came out with originally for the Origins line. So, I mean, if you're just going to redo He-Man, Skeletor, and Trapjaw, and, and Tila, and, you know, just going to redo these characters... Why not? Why not? Why can't they just make something new? You know, just for just finish the line that they have already going. But they had to start into that now. They they didn't even touch the Princess of Power characters really. They just did Shira, and it, there's just so many things that they could do. But it seems like they're not doing much. I mean, we did see some of the Rock. Uh, I think it was Stone Dar or whatever. Uh, a rock on I don't remember which one but one of the rock guys we did see one of those in a picture and we did also see one of the um, who was it oh, extendar I think we seen him 
We've seen a few other ones. I'm trying. I can't remember all of them offhand right now. But um, yeah, so we did see some, but it's like they're very slim, and we still haven't got a too bad. We haven't got a too bad yet, and that's pretty amazing that we haven't got a too bad. Oh, that was the other one. They had Cyclone there, and that was cool. And they did kind of do a little bit of that 2000X stuff with him a little bit too, which is cool. But they really have a lot of characters that they could go they, they they still could do i mean i could go to target right now and find masterverse stuff easily and that's just it's just easily i could find these things i'll just walk in there I'll, like right now at this point now i'm gonna date this video which i don't like to do but um right now if i walk into my target i have seen a ram man and i seen that uh whatever i don't know that slush head i can't remember the name of that guy but he's got those mechanical like oct octopus type arm things and he's green with the like uh i don't know that guy anyway so and also i think it was claw foes there too but anyway so uh, some people i'm sure doesn't have those characters so i'm sorry that your store didn't stock them but i have seen them in multiple stores in my state and i think that if they can figure out how to stock those in stores, I'm not sure why they're having trouble stocking the Origins line so badly. There's just, I haven't, like King Hiss, he's just gone missing. I don't know, where is he? Because he came out for a short period and then he disappeared. And even on the internet, it's like pre-order. And it's like, I had a pre-order of him for months. And then they canceled my pre-order on Entertainment Earth. And then I never seen him again. I go to a big bad toy store. They didn't even have him there. And it's like one page of Origins. That's it. That's getting a little creepy. But I didn't mean to go on and on about this. I just wanted to kind of show off this new um, uh, armor or upper body uh, clothing, I guess, I made for Mothman. And it'd be nice if we could get a weapons pack and maybe an armor, some armor in there for other characters to be like, swapped out or like customized whatever maybe some horde uh chest armor or something so you got some horde at you can have other horde members since they're not they don't want to do horde members it seems like they want to do snake men instead but yeah so anyway i didn't want to talk forever about this i just kind of started rambling but this is cool and uh i'm just telling you this because you could do this yourself just like i said go to walmart get these leather um little bands or whatever and in the crafting section cut them and just kind of uh just kind of braid it all together and tie it in the back and you got yourself this same thing for moss man so i guess this is a custom video that i just ranted on so <laughs> anyway Tell me what you think about this in the comment section below and like, share, and subscribe. And thank you for watching.